powerful prayer of blessing for the month of September. Hello friends, it's Joseph and thank you for joining me at With Mary, the big family that helps you to pray. Please subscribe now and click on the bell to be sure to receive all of our new prayers and updates. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, welcome to this blessing prayer, and I wish you a beautiful and a holy month of September. September is a significant month dedicated to Our Lady of Sorrows. It is also a month when we commemorate Mary's birth and the exaltation of the cross. We also commemorate some important saints such as St. Teresa of Calcutta, St. Padre Pio, St. Matthew, and the Holy Archangels. There are so many graces available to us in this month, and I am delighted to join you in this prayer to receive an abundance of blessings on each day of September. Thank you, Lord, for each day of this month of September, for all the graces that you will pour through the intercession of the saints and Mary for our hearts, for all the areas of our lives, for our families, for this world and for the church. Amen. Friends, in order to fully give the Lord and Mary this entire month of September, I invite you to pause for a moment of silence and give the Lord and Mary your prayer intentions, desires, hopes and needs for this month. Additionally, I suggest that you include a spirit of intercession in your prayer so that the Lord's blessings may reach all those who are suffering and are in need of healing, conversion or liberation. And we may have many intercessions of thanksgiving to the Lord and we can put them in the comments of the video to praise God for all of his blessings, both past and present and for those yet to come in this month of September. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings you will bestow upon me in this September prayer. Every day, every moment of this month, I invoke Mary's powerful intercession and the entire communion of saints. Amen. We pray to you, Lord, for the intentions of the Holy Father for this month. We ask for your blessing, Lord, on our Pope, on each of his decisions each of his acts, his apostolic journeys, each of his words. Inspire him always, fill him with your Holy Spirit, and give him the grace to lead your church as the successor to St. Peter. We also ask you for the comfort of the presence of the Virgin Mary, always at his side, and of all the saints that we celebrate during this month. The Pope's intentions for the month of September is for the abolition of the death penalty. We pray that the death penalty which attacks the dignity of the human person may be legally abolished in every country. O merciful God, you bestow your life and love on each of us and call us to be a just and merciful people. You are the source of all life. Guide the direction of our efforts to promote justice in the legal system. Strengthen the resolve we need to abolish the death penalty and keep pushing for more just laws that value each person's life and dignity. God of justice and mercy, we pray to you for justice that mends broken relationships as we work to address the underlying causes of violence. Inspire our collective efforts to enact laws that protect all people's human rights laws that honour victims, protect communities, hold perpetrators accountable, and promote restorative justice rather than vengeance. God our Redeemer, stir our minds and hearts to act today in opposition to the death penalty and in solidarity with those who work to defend and uphold the sanctity of all life. In great communion with the Holy Spirit, the Virgin Mary and with our Pope, we pray to you, Lord, for the end to the death penalty. Amen. Dear friends, I also invite you to pray for the Pope in the comments of the video 
and for all the intentions that he carries in his hearts for this month of September, and perhaps especially for peace. Amen. O Holy Spirit, the life that inspires our hearts and our whole being, we entrust to you this month of September to inspire us with your life, your blessing and your grace. Be the master in us, Holy Spirit, this gentle inner master who guides us on the paths of God, whatever they may be in this month. Come and enlighten all your faithful with your seven sacred gifts. Come and strengthen all those who are in trial and suffering. Come and advise all those in doubt. Come and enlighten the pagans and other religions so that everyone may recognize Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Amen. Friends, we can entrust all of our intentions to the Holy Spirit in the comment section below, and we will pray the Veni Creator so that the Holy Spirit himself will lead this month and each of its days in all newness in his divine inspiration. Amen. Come, Creator Spirit, visit the souls of thy people. Fill with grace from on high the hearts which thou hast created. Thou who art called the Comforter, gift of the Most High God, living fountain, fire, love, and unction of souls, sevenfold in thy gifts, finger of the Father's right hand, thou promise truly by the Father, giving speech to tongues. Inflame our senses with thy light, pour thy love into our hearts, strengthen our weak bodies with lasting power. Drive far away the enemy, grant peace at all times, so under thy guidance may we avoid all evil. Grant us by thee to know the Father and to know the Son, and thee, Spirit of both, may we always believe. To God the Father be the glory, to the Son who rose from the dead, and to the Comforter for all ages. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacraments of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen. For this month of September, I recommend Psalm 16, which is a miktam of David. The primary message of this psalm is that we must always remain faithful to God. He always loves, protects, and provides for us, keeping an eye on us and taking care of us. David's powerful words in Psalm 16 remind us to always keep our hope, trust, and faith in God, because He is deserving of our faithfulness. I encourage you to think about Our Lady of Sorrows as you read this passage slowly, giving yourself time to reflect on her response to Christ crucified and how we are called to remember and respond to God's goodness in our world today. Friends, you can also write your intentions for peace in the comments section of the video. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, My Lord are you, apart from you I have no good. How wonderfully he has made me cherish the holy ones who are in his land. They multiply their sorrows who call to the gods. Blood libations to them I will not pour out, nor will I take their names upon my lips. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. For me the measuring lines have fallen on pleasant sights. 
that to me indeed is my inheritance. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence. Because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. You will show me the path of life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights of your right hand forever. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, My Lord are you, apart from you I have no good. How wonderfully he has made me cherish the holy ones who are in his land. They multiply their sorrows who call to the gods. Blood libations to them I will not pour out, nor will I take their names upon my lips. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. For me the measuring lines have fallen on pleasant sights, Fair to me, indeed, is my inheritance. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence. Because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. You will show me the path of life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights of your right hand forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In this month of September, we celebrate the Feast of the Archangels. This prayer to the Archangels highlights the role that each Archangel has been given by God and how that role can help us when we need them most. Heavenly King, you have given us Archangels to assist us during our pilgrimage on earth. Saint Michael is our protector. I ask him to come to my aid, fight for all my loved ones, and protects us from danger. Saint Gabriel is a messenger of the good news. I ask him to help me, clearly hear your voice, and to teach me the truth. Saint Raphael is the healing angel. I ask him to take my need for healing, and that of everyone I know. Lift it up to your throne of grace, and deliver back to us the gift of recovery. Help us, O Lord, to realize more fully the reality of Archangels and their desire to serve us. O holy angels, pray for us. Amen. May Christ be in our mind, in our lips, in our heart, in our actions and in our life. But if this noble and holy desire were to come true, let us not forget that to follow Christ and to live his life necessarily requires carrying his cross and all that it entails, not with mere resignation, but with joyful acceptance and for love. O God who willed that your only begotten Son should undergo the cross to save the human race, grant, we pray, that we who have known his mystery on earth may merit the grace of his redemption in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. O adorable Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, you have suffered death on the cross for our sins. O Holy Cross of Jesus, be my true light. O Holy Cross, Fill my soul with good thoughts. O Holy Cross, ward off from me all things that are evil. O Holy Cross, 
Ward off from me all dangers and deaths, and give me life everlasting. O crucified Jesus of Nazareth, have mercy on me, now and forever. In honor of the precious blood of Jesus, his death, resurrection, and ascension, which leads to everlasting life, true as Jesus was born on Christmas Day, true as Jesus was crucified on Good Friday, true as Joseph and Nicodemus took Jesus down from the cross and buried him, true as Jesus ascended into heaven, may he preserve me from my enemies visible and invisible forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. Mary and Joseph, pray for me. Lord Jesus Christ, through your suffering the cross, grant me the strength to bear my cross without fear or dread, and give me the grace that I may follow you. Amen. Padre Pio, you whose feast we celebrate this month, we come to you asking for your powerful intercession. Dear God, you generously blessed your servant, Saint Pio of Petrocina, with the gifts of the Spirit. You marked his body with the five wounds of Christ crucified as a powerful witness to the saving passion and death of your Son. Endowed with the gift of discernment, Saint Pio labored endlessly in the confessional for the salvation of souls. With reverence and intense devotion, in the celebration of the Mass, he invited countless men and women to a greater union with Jesus Christ in the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. Through the intercession of Saint Pio of Petrocina, I confidently beseech you to grant me the grace that I now ask. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Joseph, spouse of our tender mother and Virgin Mary, we entrust to you the fatherly goodness of this month of September and each of its days. Accompany each of our life situations, whatever they are. Watch over all of our material needs, our work and our finances, our housing. Watch over all of our relationships, our families, our friends, our loved ones. Watch over all of our spiritual needs too. Need for peace and light, need for God, always in our hearts and at every moment. We entrust the church in this month. You are its guardian, so lead and inspire it. Defend it from all enemies. You, the terror of demons. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Do not be afraid, Joseph, son of David. Take Mary, your wife, into your home. Righteous man, you call him Jesus, the begotten of the Holy Spirit in Mary. Saint Joseph, Father of Jesus, pray for the church and for us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Mother of Sorrows, with strength from above you stood by the cross, sharing the sufferings of Jesus, and with tender care you bore him in your arms, mourning and weeping. We praise you for your faith, which accepted the life God planned for you. 
We praise you for your hope, which trusted that God would do great things in you. We praise you for your love in bearing with Jesus the sorrows of his passion. Holy Mary, we follow your example and stand by all your children who need comfort and love. O Mother of God, stand by us in our trials and care for us in our many needs. Pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Virgin Mary, Our Lady, receive our month of September and each of its days that we offer you as a gift of our love. We want to be in your presence at all times, O Virgin Mary, and we want to be present to all the graces that God gives us through you, not to miss a single one, and to be able to contribute in our humble measure to pouring God's love and mercy on the world. Mary, teach us in September to act with God's hands, to walk with God's legs, to see with God's eyes and to love with God's heart, to unite our will fully to the divine will of love, which wants the salvation of all men. Our Lady of Sorrows, keep us faithful at every moment of this month. Keep us from all sin. We want to commit none. We consecrate to you every moment of this month on behalf of all sinners as an act of life and reparation for them. We also ask for peace for our world. You, the Queen of Peace, we ask you for peace in the Church, whose attentive mother you are. Full of grace, we acclaim you. Amen. I, a faithless sinner, renew and ratify today in thy hands the vows of my baptism. I renounce forever Satan, his pomps and works, and I give myself entirely to Jesus Christ, the incarnate wisdom, to carry my cross after him all the days of my life, and to be more faithful to him than I have been before. In the presence of the heavenly court, I choose thee this day for my mother and mistress. I deliver and consecrate to thee as thy slave my body and soul, my goods, both interior and exterior, and even the value of all my good actions, past, present, and future, leaving to thee the entire and full right of disposing of me and all that belongs to me without exception, according to thy good pleasure, for the greater glory of God in time and in eternity. Amen. In great union with the saints we celebrate every day of this month, especially Saint Teresa of Calcutta, Saint Padre Pio, Saint Matthew, and the holy archangels, and all the saints of this month, receive all our intentions in this month of September, O Virgin Mary, Most Holy Mother. I invite you to pray this decade with an open heart to God's mercy in the exaltation of the Holy Cross and trustful surrender to Our Lady of Sorrows. Friends, I also ask you to pray for the upcoming month's events, global events, deadlines affecting our families, careers and personal relationships, as well as all upcoming physical examinations, surgeries and doctor's appointments. May Mary guide each occasion and meeting so that we can grow spiritually. Yes, Lord, please send your presence through Mary to all events taking place this month. Bless all important gatherings and moments and remove any obstacles or potential conflicts. Amen. And I also suggest that you entrust with great joy those of us who have birthdays or special occasions in this month of September, as well as all the marriages that took place during this month. Happy birthday and happy anniversary. We wish you all peace, joy and blessings and the strength to get through any difficulty. We also entrust your families to our prayers. May each and every one of you who is praying right now 
receive God's blessing in this decade. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, with our guardian angel we entrust to you this month of September. Protect each of our steps, each of our decisions and our meetings. Thank you for your presence with us to avoid the pitfalls of the devil and to lead us on the sure paths of truth and faith. Keep us from all enemies. Inspire us in all our actions to grow in virtues and become other Christs on earth. Defend us in every spiritual and material struggle so that the glory of God may be manifested for all. Keep me from sin, keep me from all evil, and lead all those I love to the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Most noble prince of the angelic hierarchies, valiant herald of the most high God, champion of the divine glory, terror of rebellious angels and delight of faithful angels, deign to accept me among your protégés. I offer myself to you, I give myself to you, 
I consecrate myself to you, placing my person, my family and my goods under your all-powerful protection. As a sinner, I know that the offering of myself is very little, but I do not doubt that you will want to make my heart grow in fervor and protect those who have recourse to you. From now on, may you assist me in the difficulties of my earthly existence and deplore from God the forgiveness of my faults and the grace to love him with Jesus my Redeemer and Mary my sweet mother with all my will. May your assistance prepare me to receive in heaven the crown of glory. Defend my soul against all of its enemies and when the time comes for me to leave this world, come then, most glorious prince, to support me in the final struggle. May your glittering sword drive away into the abyss of death and hell, the prevaricating angel whose absurd pride you have vanquished. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. O Sacred Heart of Jesus, I trust in you. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to you. Our Lady of Sorrows, pray for us. Our Lady of Mercy, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Mother Teresa of Calcutta, pray for us. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Saint Matthew, pray for us. All the saints of this month of September, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. Our holy guardian angel, watch over us, guard us, and protect us. All the saints and angels of heaven, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you enjoyed this powerful Catholic blessing prayer for September 2022, then please like this video and share this prayer with those around you. To thank you for participating, I want to offer you the free digital ebook, The Five Essential Keys to Praying Better. Please click on the link that appears now or in the comments section below. Friends, I pray that the love of Jesus transforms you and blesses you in abundance today and that filled afresh with his Holy Spirit, you will be a shining light for those around you. And I look forward to praying with you again in the next video. But until then, stay close to Our Lady of Sorrows this month, and may you be blessed in abundance. Amen.